James made a few of those, uh, you know, down the stretch. But first thing, you know, that he, he'll come out and tell you is that you know he has he's got a long way to go and, and uh, you know handle a lot of the other stuff that uh, that he saw <clears throat> not only not only on uh, on that Saturday but the next Saturday against Minnesota. Too. Yeah, what, what, I mean that game was twelve. I mean you guys can set the world on fire and all that. Uh, was there a different plan for him that game? Uh, there, you know, it really wasn't. But they, you know, Minnesota was extremely aggressive. Yeah, came yeah. after, you know, came after us, uh, you know, an awful lot. And uh, you know, it's it's uh, you know, and I would too. You test it, you know, freshman quarterback and keep coming at him until you know he proves that uh, you know uh, you know he, he can beat you. Mm -hmm. And that was their philosophy that day. And you know, we made a few, we made a few plays here and there, but not quite the way that uh, that we expected to. What is, how does a new offensive line, basically, I mean, three new guys, how much will that affect what you guys are able to do, do you think? I mean, I know it's early, one day, one and a half session. Do you think it'll affect much? Or? Well, I think, you know, you know, a lot of you guys have been around here as long as I have at this particular point in time, so you know that it affects, you know, it affects everybody in football. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, how the offensive line comes together, how they play really, you know, drives you know, drives our success. Uh, you know, we like to run the football. We need, you know, because of, uh, you know, our uh, pro style attack, we need to have a pocket. And, uh, you know, those guys are instrumental in doing, you know, mm -hmm. doing everything uh, that actually uh, allows you to be successful in the run game or, or building a pocket and being able to throw the ball. So, uh, you know, finding the right five guys, finding the, the guys who are, you know, six, seven, and eight as well that can, you know, the best six, seven, eight, eight guys that we have up front uh, is always the challenge and task, you know, every preseason. And it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit more important this year because of, you know, graduating four guys who had experienced the year before. Do you have any ideas in mind already as far as how you're going to utilize the three running backs once Jewel is available? You know we're gonna we're gonna wait and see how the whole thing plays out and kind of uh, kind of go from there. So we we haven't talked a whole lot about it. It's uh, you know it, it's it's not an easy thing to do. It's a great problem to have, but uh, it won't necessarily be an easy thing to do. Coach, have you been around other players in your career that sort of can flush plays the way that Rick showed that he did and was able to last year? Not quite as easily, but uh, you know he yeah that's um, that, that's one of the benefits that he you know he has uh, I think now that you know uh, you've been coaching 30 something years uh, you get to a certain age you know and my memory isn't quite as good either so uh, I'm not remembering some of those plays uh, as well that, that happened in the first period the first quarter that uh, took place in the second quarter but now Rick you know Rick you know he's not afraid to compete and competitors are going to go and just you know keep you know keep going at you and you know, we, we call it offense because we want to attack, and, that, and that's really the mode that you know that, that uh, we want to be in. And, and uh, he's got to, you know, he's got to keep going as hard as he can. He's got to be a little smarter in some situations, uh, which, but I, you know, I'm confident that that he's learned uh, an awful lot, you know, from, the, from his experience last season. How much Chris, trust do you build up with a guy like that through the time? I mean, the year before, he had the late game drive against Penn State. He nearly pulled one out, helped pull one out against Illinois, and then they kicked the field goal. Now that he's going to be a senior, and you've seen him get in the holes and come out, is it easier to shrug things off early in the game? Well, you know, obviously we trust him because he's, he's been a starter for, you know, right. you know, for this long, and, and we really believe in him, you know, which is, uh, you know, I think uh, – Really, a byproduct of his leadership, you know, both on and off the field, but certainly on the field in that locker room. We see it on a daily basis. We know how hard he prepares, and how important all this is, and, uh, and how badly he wants to succeed, and, and, how, and even more importantly, how badly he wants this football team to succeed. And uh, you know, that really gives you know gives you a co as a coach, uh, you know, a great belief in, in, in him as a player. And, and what he's doing.